Sure. Uh, thank you, Dr. Chandak, and uh, uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Simar Preet, and I look after the mobile CRM business for uh, Siemens Healthineers here in India. Uh, so the topic that we're going to present today is uh, how 3D CRM is uh, useful for interoperative quality control, and uh, particularly in ortho trauma space. So as, as we all know, that I, I might have to minimize this screen here. Uh, yeah. So, so as we all know that uh, there are a host of products available for 3D imaging inside the OR. Uh, most of us are more familiar with the mobile CRMs for 3D as well as for OAMPs for 3D. There are uh, a host of intraoperative CT scanners now available. Uh, so many of them are mobile. Uh, as well as there is a uh, system that comes on a sliding gantry CT. So you don't have to use the CT inside the um, uh, OR at all times. You can coexist the CT between two rooms, one on the diagnostic floor, uh, one on the diagnostic room, and the other one on inside the OR. And uh, there are also certain solutions available, uh, such as a robotic cat lab, which can be used for uh, and, and can coexist between uh, multiple users like uh, cardiology, uh, interventional radiology, orthopedics, spine, neuro, uh, all of them can coexist with this system. Uh, so what we're going to focus today here is more on uh, the 3D imaging that we get on uh, mobile CRMs. But first and foremost, that uh, why do we need 3D imaging? Uh, and the answer to that is definitely to get more certainty in demanding cases. Uh, I was uh, uh, I, I second the thought that Dr. Tanna presented that uh, it is always better to have two CMs, uh, not just uh, to have the second CM as a backup, but also if, if you can use it to have two views for, for, for the same anatomy, one in the anterior posterior view and the other one in the lateral view. So a 3D uh, CM or a 3D imaging device can help you give those two views with only one shot. So uh, practically speaking, it is less dose for the doctor himself <sighs> and uh, why why we say is uh, 3d important or or the need of 3d is growing is because conventional 2d imaging may not always provide enough information uh, as you can see uh, for for some of the body regions especially around the foot uh, the intraoperative correction rates the average intraoperative correction rates are more than 30 percent in some cases uh, so this basically draws us to uh, the, the more and more prevalence of uh, 3D CM being used inside an mm -hmm. orthopedic OT. Uh, I would li also like to plug in one of uh, uh, the testimonials we received from one of the orthopedic trauma surgery professors from the University of Ludwigshafen in Germany, uh, Professor Gusner, who says that I can't say it clearly enough. Uh, experience is no substitute for a 3D scan. If anything, it is the experienced surgeons in particular who do not want to do without the intraoperative process control. They know very well that by using this method, they achieve better clinical outcomes and prevent post-operative revisions. So how the CD, uh, 3D CM works and how does it acquire to give you a CT-like image inside the OR is, is, is uh, what this video represents. I'll just uh, play this video maybe once more. So as you can see, the, C, uh, the, the CM basically acquires an image uh, around the patient body and then reconstructs this into a 360 degree volume. So uh, I, I'll not bore you with a lot of physics, but uh, just to share with you, so it, it basically works on uh, similar to a, a cone beam CT, uh, wherein uh, you acquire 196 degrees and then you reconstruct a volume which is 360 degrees from the acquired 196 degree rotation. And the images that you get and, and the images that you get are similar to what you would get on a CT scanner. right? So you, you get all three coronal, sagittal and axial views as well as the volume view that you see on the screen here for, for that particular examination. So this is the proximal tibia. Uh, just to share some more examples with you, this is an examination of the pelvis. So again, all three views and the volume reconstructed all, all in less than one, one minute. Uh, this is a view of the distal tibia, uh, distal radius. Uh, another important uh, uh, functionality is that uh, with, with, with the advancement in technology and then the advent of uh, flat detector systems, you can go up to uh, six or seven vertebrae in one view uh, if, if uh, 
if you're doing a, a, a thoracic spine or a cervical spine, as, as, as you can see here. So uh, this is true because uh, with the 3D scan, you get an isotropic volume of 16 centimeters into 16 centimeters into 16 centimeters. So this is something which is, uh, uh, I would say, even better than an interoperative CT or a UAM for that matter. So that's how a 3D CAM would help. Uh, some other uh, new age features which, which are there in the 3D CM nowadays is that earlier all, uh, or, or rather even today, any conventional CM used to come with a generator capacity of 2 kilowatt or 2.5 kilowatt, right? Uh, nowadays, the 3D CMs can go up to 25 kilowatt in power. So that means more power for uh, I mean, uh, obese patients or patients that you see on, on, on the uh, slide here, as well as the size of the C. So this is very critical for uh, all orthopedic trauma implants. So if you're operating a drill or, or doing a screw, uh, it, it makes a lot of, uh, it, it, it helps the surgeon to have a more open space for him to operate or, or use all the devices when the table is on the, when the patient is on the table. So uh, the, these are some images that you can see for, for an obese patient with more than 100, 120 kilos. And uh, again, uh, so for the, for the procedure which requires multiple screws, uh, and if you are dealing with uh, three images, so the axial views. I'm sorry. Yeah, was there a question, sir? Please go ahead. Go ahead. Please go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so, 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 sure, sir. So, so for a multi-screw process, uh, say for example, in a, in a spine. Uh, if you have, say, about uh, eight or nine screws done on the spine, it becomes very challenging to individually uh, align the image, all three planes in, in the same plane as to check whether the uh, the screw has been implanted perfectly or not. So, to uh, and, and if you were to do this inside the OT, it would consume a lot of your OR time, right? So the system comes with um, a host of new age features which detect all these screws A, uh, automatically and B, it also aligns all these images for you. So you just have to go from one screw to another and the system will automatically align the right plane and give you the right result that you need. Uh, another important um, uh, feature or uh, I, I can uh, think of this feature to uh, to be more useful to what uh, or or in line with what Dr. Tanna was uh, asking for whether we can have a, a uh, uh, application which can tell us what is the right path to process so something like a needle guidance or uh, you can say a navigation system which points to the uh, target and and gives you the right path and lets you also uh, uh, know whether you've deviated from that path or not. So I'll just play a short video to uh, explain this better. So say for example, if, if you this is your uh, skin entry point and then you want to proceed in this direction, once you align in the plane, the system will tell you by, by uh, if, whether you are proceeding in the right direction or you need to change your uh, the direction going forward. So very useful for pay wire placements or for uh, even for screws. So as you can see, the, the red line tells you that you have deviated from your actual path that you had decided to go in for. So, uh, so that's, that's from my end. And uh, of course, uh, if there are any questions, we can take them up now or maybe later on. Mm -hmm.